Hello, it's been a while, nice to see you. Um, <laughs> if you're new here, my name's Emma. I am now a junior doctor practicing in Australia. And what you are about to watch is the calamity of moving my life from Sydney, where I went to university, to the rural town that I will now live in for the next year while I'm working. And you can just watch all of my best laid plans just fall to the wayside. I can laugh about it now. I think it's quite funny, during which I'm kind of sharing some tips and things that I started to think of while I was packing, um, but obviously everything kind of fell apart. So I will actually make another video summarizing those when I'm in the process of unpacking and we'll see if my tips even worked. Um, but for now, just enjoy laughing at me over the span of a week when I thought I had everything figured out and it all decided to change. <laughs> so it was just about four years ago, I was packing my life or what I could of it <laughs> into two big suitcases and moving across the world to come to Australia and study medicine. And now, four years later, <laughs> I am packing my life into those same two suitcases, as well as quite a few boxes, to move nearly a few hours north within the same state. Lots of emotions, uh, lots of things, but for now, we pack. And what we need for packing? <laughs> I have tape, boxes, a marker, and sticky notes to label the boxes, as well as an ongoing spreadsheet to keep track of what is in what boxes so that as I unpack myself in stages as I acquire furniture <laughs> to put the things in I kind of know where things are and I'm also hoping to downsize as I pack because somehow over four years I have accumulated a lot of life and a lot of things I started to feel like I'm falling away from you, stalling the pace with you. And you know if I knew a way I could stay with you, I'd change my tune. Guess I don't wanna call out across the room, call out to you, cause who knows what you do. I don't know who we are, but we know what they mean. saga continues. Um, so today we are packing up the cats to bring them out of town to stay with family for term one so that someone is watching them obviously and that I don't have to move my cat into like a temporary place and then into my place. Um, and my landlord may or may not know about my cat yet. Um, but what else? So because we're doing that, we're staying overnight out of town and then bringing, coming back. So we have Wednesday here and then we move on Thursday. So today's Monday, not many days left. Um, and I am of course not packed yet. Um, I've been having a lot of feelings, mostly centered around the lack of feelings that I have. Um, so all last week I kept saying, oh, I know like it feels like I'm moving, but it doesn't feel like I'm moving for a year. This is super manageable. Um, and then today I thought about how we're going to take the cats and I like wanted to cry. So I think the feelings are setting in. And It's because of that not feeling like it was actually moving or that it was going to move, it was hard to really get into packing. Plus I was trying to see people all last week and spend time, like quality time with people. So it's just been a slow start, um, but obviously now the time crunch is on. So I feel it. So we are in the bathroom for a reason. We're going to pack up bathroom stuff at least until like we got like probably about a half hour to try to get some more packing done and then um, we will be taking the cats down. Eight a.m. I couldn't fall asleep again. 
Been overthinking all the little things I've said I'm sleep deprived almost every night And I wish that I wouldn't think instead I know the sun is up and I got things to do But I don't think I've got the energy to move And I go back to my dreams again But I shouldn't be sleeping when It's still right now and I'm stuck in my bed Staying in the same bed I need a kick start just to change this I don't wanna waste a minute on the basics But it's keeping me feeling so amazing Stop on stretch Brush my hair, always looking like a mess Only me, I could go and do the rest Give it a So inevitably, as packing goes We are still going These piles, um, which are on boxes and things and all that big um, are the things that I'm setting aside to pack so that I can live out of a suitcase for a week, two weeks, who knows? Um, that's all up in the air at the moment, but I've been setting aside things that I think I'll like, want to wear, don't want to pack yet, and I think I'm at this point where stuff, this isn't all mine, stuff needs to start going in boxes, just going in. So I need to pack the things I want to have easily accessible so that I mentally can see the rest that needs to go into boxes. So that's where we're at. And weirdly enough, there's some essentials you never think you'd put in a suitcase. Moving day attempt number two. <laughs> so yesterday was hectic. I arranged to get a van in the morning and then obviously thought it would be faster to pack up and things and we had more errands to run than I realized um, and it took longer to load the van than I realized with just the two of us. Um, it also was just hectic um, for different, different reasons I have to be in temporary accommodation before I can be in my final accommodation and therefore I thought I had that all lined up with another intern and she thought she had her accommodation all lined up but that fell through so mm, that's scary for her and for me which means staying another day was actually pretty good because now I think I'm driving up and going into a hotel for the weekend and then temporary accommodation <laughs> and then my actual home for the year um, so it's just been hectic, but had another day at home. By the by, the time we got to the afternoon, it was just getting too late, too late, and you start doing the math, thinking okay, if we leave now, we arrive at this time. If we leave now, we arrive at this time, and it started getting that we'd be arriving at eight or nine p.m. And that's just not what I want to be doing. So called it. Spent another evening on the couch, ordered in food and we'll leave soon after some breakfast. I want you to know how I feel. So it's now empty. Thank you, Steve. Um, but <laughs> guess who booked her hotel for the wrong day? Yeah, me. <laughs> so I have a hotel for tomorrow, tomorrow night and Sunday night. And then I can move into temporary accommodation provided by the hospital. And then I can move into my home. For tonight, we go back to Sydney. <laughs> um, 
but all of my stuff is dropped off with my friend Steve. So, you know, the trip was still worth it and the trip was still necessary. And that is what we are telling ourselves. <laughs> I had a good dinner and had a little bit of wine. I'm not the one driving. And now we drive back. And so now you're sort of up to date where I am now. Um, after that, we drove home. I didn't take any clips. It was dark and nighttime. And then the next morning I hopped on a train and trained six hours to get where I am, took a taxi to the hotel. The hotel was really nice and they were really accommodating and I think kind of took pity on me considering I tried to move in yesterday, as it goes. Um, stayed overnight and turns out I can move into my temporary accommodation that's worked out through the hospital a day earlier than I thought, so that's where I am now. And tomorrow officially kicks off orientation week for the interns, so I think I will leave this here and you can pick up with the vlog um, when I start orientation in my new job as a doctor. <laughs> For now, I'm gonna try to get settled a little bit as much as you can um, and go from there. So I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>